Hey Doors fans, I'm standing right at the exact spot, right in front of our, below the uh, famous billboard that the Doors uh, advertised their first album in late 66 and early 67. This was actually the first rock and roll album ever uh, advertised on a billboard. And Jack, Jack Holtzman, the president of Electra Records, uh, I don't know what gave him the inspiration, but that was uh, the scoop of a lifetime advertising right here on Sunset Boulevard between uh, Crescent Heights Boulevard and the Chateau Marmont. And incidentally, that's where Jim Belusi was found dead. And Jim, Jim used to like the slum. He didn't believe in buying property, so he just lived wherever he'd hang his hat. And he lived here off and on, and he also lived at a, another little CD hotel on La Cienega called the Alta Cienega. Like I said, you Doors fans, if you have Doors Illustrated, you can get a pretty good uh, couple of photographs of the, them standing up on that uh, catwalk up there. And you could also see in the background the famous, uh, this goofy, hokey uh, diorama statue called the Family. And then right there, you can see that shop right there in the background. And in the 80s and 90s, they used to sell uh, Bullwinkle and Rocky ephemera uh, souvenirs and if you're a kid from the 60s you'll remember Bullwinkle and Rocky and they also had a giant Bullwinkle up at the top too bad they took took that down it's probably in some millionaire's uh, living room right now anyway uh, Jim Morrison actually jumped from one of those uh, terraces right there and almost killed himself and uh, in his one of his drug drug crazed LSD mescaline uh just freak outs okay every rock and roll album after this advertising a skip and uh if it wasn't for this spot right here in the scoop that jack holtzman did generating uh enthusiasm for the upcoming album i guess maybe it wouldn't have been as big as it ended up being the first album of the doors okay and one more anecdote at that Y right over there, if you can see uh, over there at Crescent Heights Boulevard was a place called Pandora's Box. And that's where the uh, famous Sunset Strip riot started in November of 1966. And uh, it uh, spread west of here, all the way to Clark and Hilldale where the, where the whiskey was. And that was the first uh, youth riot in LA at that time, before the Vietnam War riot started. And they were, they were crazy angry because they were gonna stop uh, the clubs from staying out staying open till 2 and uh, they were gonna stop all the dancing and the curfew the kids had to be in by by 10 o'clock and uh, if you've ever seen the trip but with Peter Fonda you'll see what I mean you can see all the uh, liveliness and action and activity that was going on at that time and now all you got is cars going by and tourist buses and the sedate environment with nothing but old people coming back and reminiscing when they were 18 here okay doors fans thanks a lot hope you enjoyed this